Mr. Bushido again with another short video at KYRU Geek Nation News. We have the latest to the oldest of Kamen Rider, Super Sentai Anime, and Kamen Book Toei. And also Kishili Tokusei Masters, aka Kaiju. And this week we're going to be doing another Super Sentai review, so let's get started. Henshin! Hey everybody, so this we're going to be doing uh, Super Sentai Sen uh, Gos Tensei Gosagers, the DX Blaster, that is shown later from 2010 to 2011. Now, if you guys don't recognize the name, but do recognize the face, this is actually the, the, the American version as Mega Force. Now, the, the Japanese version, I'm not going to give you all info about it because I'm still getting into the show myself. But so far, I like it. it it's a little, like I said, uh, I prefer the Sentai, not because of the, I, you know, I started Power Rangers, but I like the Sentai because even it's still for kids, it has a adult atmosphere, like when it's sense so it's kind of dark and it has a good storyline and then they, and people People actually die in the show, so it's like whoa. <laughs> so just to just to guess to give you a point. So this the Japanese ones pretty much based uh they're guardians. They're kinda like angels and they're fighting these kind of creatures like they're like demons you can say. Now there's actually a six one, a six ranger, a green one. Now he doesn't come out. He comes out like one of the f episodes in the future, like farther into the show. If I'm ruining that for you, it's just, just to show you guys how dark <laughs> the Japanese ones compared to American. Um he dies. And uh, so there's supposed to be six of them because there's two each guardians for sky, water, and um, earth. And one of the water, you know, protectors dies. So that's just to show you guys. It's it's a really good show. You guys have to get into it because I'm still watching it. It's I'm barely on the I think on the 15 or 16 episode. So it's so far I really like it. Um, now this is <laughs> this is uh like I said this is the DX blaster the Gosei Tensei oh, this Tensei. Go say DX Blaster. Now, minus is use. I ain't buying new because, uh, you know, I want to pay like over 50 for this because this is how much it's going online for. Uh, and I'm saying 50 because the cheapest it goes for is 30, but you still have to pay shipping. So, even depending on the taxes and how they charge you, it still goes up to 50. Now, I actually got, uh, I got mines at uh, this, uh, uh, what's it called? Robo Toy Fest. It was a year ago, two years ago. I forgot already. <laughs> And I got it for about twenty bucks, and I don't mind because the the I, re, I got a twenty. It was twenty because it was used, and it was missing a header, and it was actually missing the card. But I don't I didn't, I didn't mind because it has the box, and I actually like when you know I like how the Jap well the Japanese the uh, Sentai version of the box designs. I really like how they go about with it. I really do. Like you tell it, like I said, it's used. It's kind of beat up. I don't mind, and it shows you right here the headers. Um, Two of the skies, one of the sea, and two of the of the uh, earth or ground, and it pretty much shows you like you also can use the mega swords and also the car because it's like you integrate it into you. Um, so pretty much that's it. So let's open this baby up. Now, like I said earlier, the head it only came with one header, and that's a sky header dragon. And the other header, I actually had to look for it. I I, I was gonna get it online, but I actually got lucky and I went to my anime store and it actually had this. Uh, this candy toy version for about four bucks and it's not the the regular header that comes with it this is a, one of the candy headers at the time when the show aired that came with it and you can tell it has tires now these are not regular tires he's actually wine tires so it does that and to trigger all three elements sky water and earth I actually found another header there that I bought it's not the the, uh, the land lion it's actually the Gosei Knight header and it's actually pretty cool actually I also got this for four dollars, and it's also a candy toy. And the cool thing about this one is the other one just be wines. This one actually has a little speaker, and it actually makes a sound. So you guys want to hear it? Now I do just it only has two sounds, but it repeats one at least six times to before it gets to the other sound. I don't know why, but it, it just it does that. So if you guys want to hear it? It's gonna be you can hear one of the sounds almost six times. That's. You're gonna hear that now. You're gonna hear it six more times to trade the other one. There. Alright. So let's trigger the. Let's actually uh, test this gun now. Now, another reason I really like this gun is because you can look at it. The, the pin on this is really nice. Whoops. Sorry about that. Now, if you. um, I don't have a comparison to the American version. I can just tell you because I actually saw it when they, when, they, when they were selling it on the stores. The American version is. 
half the size of this and then this part right here is orange and they do that for you know for kids so it doesn't it's not really look like it's a gun or anything like that but the other reason i really like this gun is because it, it has a steampunk like a steampunk <laughs> like a steampunk look to it again honestly it's really cool i like it now and then off and on switches right here you guys can see so right now you can hear one sound and that's the first sound you hear when you turn it on now the second sound you know is going to be the trigger sound so it's just a simple and right there in the front is the only place that has the other light the other side does it it's a really beautiful gun actually like i said it reminds me of a steampunk now the first sound i'm going to hear is the sky and pretty much the sky what it does once you put it in it's going to trigger and this pop is going to pop out now to unlock them you, it's a simple switch you just push right here so let's do the first sound and that's the sky okay so let's hear it oh the speaker's back here Uh, it actually makes a noise to take it off. Same sound I guess it makes when you put it on with the music, of course. Now let's try the water one. Now I also want to show you, it has a really cool little glass thing for Target and it's really cool how they did that. It sounds weird. It's supposed to, I guess, imitate water. It doesn't really sound like water. <laughs> And final, my favorite one, the, the the jungle one, well, the earth one actually has a jungle theme to it. So I, that's, I really like that. I really like that they integrated that. So let's actually put it on. So I'm going to put it close to it so you guys can hear it. That's really cool. And that's also my favorite sound. It's like a machine gun. That's pretty much it right there. So that's pretty much it. Now the toy itself is pretty cool. It's not a it's not a must have. You don't want it unless you're a fan of the show. And I was a fan of, of uh, Mega Force, but uh, it the storyline was kind of for me not that great. So far the, the the Japanese one I'm watching now I'm do I do really like it. And like I said, the other reason I got this gun because I got it. I actually didn't order it online. I actually found it at the the, uh, the little uh, well the little convention I went to for twenty bucks. And the reason for me because I like how it looks, the design. Now, like I said, now it's not really a must-have. Only if you want to spend it, but you are gonna spend fifty dollars for it, and that's with shipping and everything. If you want to, um, if you find it's, you know, it was honest to me. I won't even buy it if, like I said, like I found it under twenty dollars. But for me, I wouldn't buy anything else more because it's it's a small gimmick toy. It doesn't really do that many sounds. It only technically does about five sounds, I guess. But it's still pretty cool the way it's the painted design. Now, if you don't care, you want to collect like all the Sentai stuff, or you're a big fan, then go for it. Because even the like I said, I like the design of the box. I like the the toy itself. But if you don't really need it, it's a pass. So again, thank you for watching. This is Mr. Bushido signing out at K Rider Geek Nation News. We'll be the latest series of coming Rider, Super Sentai, Anime, and Kamboktobu, and also Kishili Tokusei Monsters. Goodbye, you two. Well.